Hello, welcome to VAD Inspires, and today is a special, um, special day, and uh, it's Christmas, right? And um, I just wanted to touch a few bases when it comes in terms of goal setting. You know, there's a lot surrounding goal setting, and uh, I was listening to a message from Erna Ingel, and I, s I heard this interesting question that he put out, and I'm like, huh. That's a great question and I asked myself some question and I was turning it over in my mind and I've decided to share these questions with you and then add my experience as usual to, you know, provide more value and more context to you. And uh, these goal setting questions are very interesting. Number one is if you could completely change places, you know, with anyone else in the world, if you could do that, who would it be? Who would that person be? Number two, if you could work in any job you could choose, would that be different from the one that you're working right now? That's number two. Number three, if you could move to any part of the country, would you move from where you're living right now? I should be thinking about those questions. Uh, let's... Let's take them one by one. Number one, if you could completely change places with anyone else in the world, who would that be? You know, would you do it and who would that be? And I asked myself that question and it comes down to this idea of who we want to be, how we want to build our life, how we want to mold our life, the kind of people we want to become, the kind of things that we want to accomplish. And the kind of people we have to become in order to accomplish those goals. And uh, it's very interesting because um, this idea of building yourself, it's more important, very important than your actual goal. Right? Jim Rohn said it best. He said, it's not what you achieve, it's what you become. That's what makes you more valuable. Right? So it's in the becoming that we get the most value of whatever we're trying to achieve. And um, th th this, this is a great idea because I think I, I have a book here. I have a book here. Um, this is Can't Help Me by uh, David Goggins. If you look intently at this book, you will see there is someone on the background of the book. And he's 300 pounds. And then this author, the one in front, that's him today. He's a Navy SEAL, a, a, a former Navy SEAL. He's an author. You might even know him. And uh, but the background, look at the background. He carved out this person who is wearing white. He carved out this person from that person you see on the background wearing a, a black tank top. And that's the idea, right? You carve yourself out for whatever you want to be. Whether it's weight loss, whether it's opening a business, whether it's trying to achieve any kind of goal. You have to become a person who can deserve that kind of goal. He, he cannot be a SEAL profession. Uh, 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 he cannot be in the Navy SEAL if he was 300 pounds. He had to lose weight. He had to put himself through the paces. And I've read this book. It's marvelous. You should get a copy if you want to understand your mind and really colossal your mind. And that's where he started. And another example is a man who, who carved out an, an elephant um, from a, a piece of rock. And people were passing by and they were marveled at this elephant that this man has carved out. And when he was questioned, how did you do this? He's like, I just carved out everything that didn't look like an elephant. Again, this is what we got to do. We have to cover who we want to be. And when we ask ourselves that question, we have to understand and be really clear on the kind of life we're trying to build for ourselves. What do I want to do? Me? I have a lot of interest that I would like to turn into something that is marketable, something that I can, you know, I'm building more of a life 
I'm building more of a brand than trying to just build a business. I'm building more of something that I can, you know, do as as a hobby, right? Not as a job. And um, sports. I'm interested in sports, right? I like soccer. I'm interested in politics. I'm interested in the idea of the political correctness, the whole idea and everything. I'm very much invested in that. I'm interested in music. I like doing music covers, karaoke's, you know, music reviews. I'm interested in that. And um, my root cause, which is what I'm doing now, my primary, which is life coaching and motivation, and me finding a way to fit all these pieces in one and able to build a light be the life and be the brand out of it. That's what I want to become. I want to figure out the person that I can become in, a, in order to be able to fit in all those things in a way that is marketable, in a way that would benefit me and also benefit other people, right? So that's who I want to be. And who do I have to become? I have to persevere. I have to be able to show up every day. I have to be able to, you know, put myself out there online like what I'm doing right now. And that's part of it. And you figure out what you what it is for you, who you want to be, and who is that is, uh, and, and and who that is for you. Uh, uh, the people in my field, people like Gary Vaynerchuk or Grant Cardone, or you know the people that I listen to that is personal to my heart, Jim Rohn or Erna Engel. You know these people, I take pieces from their life, and I try to use it to build my own life. You gotta find out your own field. And you're going to do the same for yourself too. So that's the first question. This question of completely changing places with anyone else in the world. And who would that be? Right? And uh, the second question, which is, if you could work in any job you could choose, would it be different from the one that you're working at right now? This is very interesting. Because back in college, I used to work at Sam's Club, Right? And um, when I was there, there were people who has been there, who, who has been there for 25 years, right? And they were making probably, I started at $11 an hour. They were making probably $12 or $13 an hour. 25 years. And when I questioned them, it's all the same. They don't want to be there. But they were there because they felt it was the only option or because, you know, there was nothing else or they couldn't do anything else. I mean, it was very interesting and fascinating to me and it got me thinking, man, what could you do in 25 years? I mean, if you work 40 hours a week, that's what, 168 hours a week, something around that number? If you minus 40 hours a week, plus your leisure time, you will still have some time each week if you devote just one hour a day or even 30 minutes a day and learn a skill every single day. In 25 years, you would have had something marketable that you could do that will help you to make much more and be able to do much more. And that's the question I was just rotating in my head because people wake up every day and go to jobs they hate and they spend 30 years there 20 years there 10 years there and if you're a teenager if you're a young adult if you're growing up even if you're in your 30s or even if in your 40s you still have a chance you still have a chance to start right now deciding something decide that job that you want to go to because i'm pretty sure a lot of people and not where they want to be. A lot of people are not at a job they want. I don't want to keep my day job. I work at a mental health clinic. It's good. I love what I do. It's psychology, right? Helping people mentally. But I don't want to, I, I don't want to stop there. That's not my ceiling. I want to grow. I want to press store. That's why I'm practicing this, doing these videos. That's why I'm posting. That's why I'm trying to find a skill that I can hone so that over the years, I can be able to leave my day job and turn to this full time and be able to make an income from it, right? But if I don't 
put myself through the paces now, I'll just end up like those people that I was working with back in college. And a lot of people, that's the direction they're heading to and they don't even give it a second thought. Let this be a wake up call for you. Let this be a call for challenge to you for you to start learning any skill, any hobby that you think that you want people to know about you doing this, start. It doesn't matter. If you don't know where to start, just start with whatever you know. Execute whatever plan that you have right now. And two steps towards that direction, you will start fi finding um, a real concrete start that you could do. You know, just do. Just do. Just do it. Start it. You want to be a musician? Great. What do you know about being a musician? You know nothing? That's, a, that, 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 that's amazing. Press record on your phone and record a song. Write a song. It doesn't matter if it's gibberish. Sing. Post it. Start from there. You want to start a business? What kind of business do you want to start? You don't know? Great. Make a video on how to... On, on, on starting a business. Make a video on doing anything. It just... It, it doesn't matter. As long as you start. So that's it. That's that's something to that's something to keep in mind, especially with this spare time. People underutilize their spare times. When you when you have a spare time, you have to utilize it in a way that would create a, a room for happiness for you in the near future. So what you do with your spare time says a lot about you. And says a lot about the people you hang out with. In your community, in your little cohort, in your little group. So that's major. It's very major. If you don't want to keep your present job, if you don't want to be where you want to be right now, it's time for you to decide to start learning something. And that's the second question, right? And the third one, which is if you could move to any part of the world or the country, right? Would you move from where you're living right now? I want people, a lot of people want to live in their parents' house forever, right? You got a 30-year-old man who has a, a Dodge and a, and a motorcycle. He's in his 30s, still lives with his parents. Does that tell you? Tell me number one thing. I mean, you know, I'm not the most responsible person on earth, but, you know, that's like, what are you doing, dude? Like, you have a Dodge and a, and a motorcycle, and I'm betting that that's, that's all damn payments. I mean, this is, this is the kind of decisions that, that, you know, questions people's intellect. It says something about you. But what are you going to do about it? That's the most important thing. Because remember, the beginning it doesn't matter. What you did in the past doesn't matter. What you did yesterday doesn't matter. What matters is what you do today. What are you doing now? If you can make a decision, okay, I'm gonna start get a, getting my act together. I gotta get a job. I gotta cut cut uh, our liabilities and increase my assets, right? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to live? How much do you want to make? I'm not claiming to have all the answers. Heck, I have no answers. But what I know and what I'm sure of is that I'm walking towards this. And I'm sure a lot of you guys, a lot of you out there, you're walking towards anything that you're walking towards. Keep the faith. Have that vision in your head like I have mine in my head, right? I'm just a full of traveler. I'm just a full of hustler. But I do these videos because it's not just part of my process. It's part of what motivates me as it motivates you and, and um, motivates other people. So, I think in terms of, you know, communio, in terms of outside myself, how can this impact other people? 
And that's one of the big reasons that I do this. Right? And then if something happens from it, if I make an income, an extra income from it, then that's the first thing on the top. Right? That's the cherry on the top. But the real goal is what I can do for other people. That will give me the kind of life that I want. Right? And you have to think of it. What address do you live right now? Would you like to change addresses? Would you like to live somewhere else? Well, good. Work for it. Work towards it. So let's, let's, let's recap the three questions that we started with, which is, if you could completely change places with someone else in the world, would you do it? And who would that be? Second, if you could work in, at any job that you could choose, would that be different from the one that you're working right now? And third, if you could move any, to any part of the country, would you move from where you're living right now? So think about those questions. And make sure that you answer them with, a, with a, 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 a cool head and a clear mind and be really honest with yourself. And if you're not where you want to be, if you're, if you're not the person that you want to become right now, that's okay. That's okay. I'm not. I'm walking towards it. But that's the key. Are you walking towards it? Because that's where the main point lies. So as you think about that, so you rotate it in your, in your mind and your mental computer. I just want to say thank you for stopping by. And uh, I hope this video was a lot of value to you. And as always, thank you and stay inspired.